How are you? I'm good. Good. Yourself? good. How is uh how is Canada this time of year? Uh it's kind of gray and rainy. <laughs> where do you where do you live? Uh I actually live in Nashville, but uh today I'm in LA for work. So oh, um, okay. I'm currently in a nondescript hotel room somewhere in Orange County. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> uh so we'll just um kind of hop right in here and um just ask you a couple questions and shouldn't take too terribly long. Okay. Um, first question I've actually been asking everyone is, um, is there a singular moment when you remember thinking, uh, in regarding to the X-Files, uh, wow, we're making really iconic television here? I think probably the beginning of the second season, largely because, um, you know, the reaction to how the show was filmed by John Bartley, it had such a huge effect on television per se, like after that. Uh, I mean, nobody was shooting that style of television and uh, John John just changed things and I think also the the other half of it was you know the whole thing with blogs the stuff was just kind of getting underway back then and there there was a seemed to be a huge following for the show by the end of the first season so it became pretty clear that they had something pretty decent on their hands <laughs> That's about what everyone else has said too. So I guess everyone's in agreement on on uh, that particular thing. Right. Um, and and then you guys kind of went on to do your own thing. And, and I know that much has been said about the nine eleven similarities to to the lone gunman pilot. Um, right. Since it's been about you know it's been a decade now. Uh, do you still think much about that at all? Oh, it crosses my mind occasionally. I mean, it was all it was. I said it was just kind of spooky, you know, when when it all happened. I mean, it spooked all of us because it was a, a very odd, odd coincidence. And uh, what else can you say about it? You know, right. it's, it's what it's what it was. So yeah, it, it comes back to me. It, it was interesting that you know, for several years after it happened, they wouldn't show that episode of the gunman, and it wasn't until they. I guess put it on DVD on the collection. It it sort of was available again to be seen, but because I it was uh, just right before then, correct? Like less than a year before, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so yeah, still think about it occasionally. Uh, and I also know you worked on uh, the second X Files film uh, behind the scenes. Um, is there anything uh, yeah. fun you want to share uh, from that experience? Oh, it was well. Uh, it was just fun being asked back to do it. I mean, it was really nice of Chris to phone. Chris phoned me and asked me if I'd be willing to, uh, you know, assist and direct the second unit up in, up in the snow in Whistler. And I was really touched. I mean, it was really nice of him to do. So I did. I went up there and did it. And I had, had a lot of fun. The most fun was getting to see David again. Um, for a, He was only there for a day. After that, it was all kind of that second unity kind of stuff that you do with car crashes and that kind of thing. But I did get to see David for a day, and it was it was really fun to kind of reunite with him. Yeah, because how long, it had been, um, what, 15 years by that point of the high oh, of the show? Oh, something like that. Long time. Yeah, you know? yeah. Long time. Um, <clears throat> so I also know you worked on a millennium, millennium as well, and that was going on simultaneously with X-Files, correct? Early on, yeah. Yeah, yeah so how, how difficult... Was that for you, for you guys? Oh well, um, I really didn't. I didn't do uh, any of it as an actor. I really just did um, second unit stuff. I sort of directed, got asked to direct some second unit stuff, and that was a lot of fun. I did that for, well, I guess, about one season. Oh yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, on and off, right? It's one of those things. But they were filmed at the same time, correct? So you had kind of yes. two things going on at once. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one last question for you. Uh, what are you uh, up to these days? Is there any projects you want to talk about? <laughs> no, I'm pretty well. I'm pretty much retired from the uh, the film business. And uh, funnily enough, now I, my daughter and son-in-law bought a a U brew out here where I live, and I sometimes work there making wine and helping out making beer. So no way. A whole big big change in my life. Any anything that they um sell commercially or anything like that? No, it doesn't really work that way. Basically, okay. you know, you can come in and and order stuff and, and brew it yourself and then take it home. You're not... We have some really antiquated uh, liquor laws up here, so 
it's hard to do for instance like in the states you know you'll see you'll see breweries that'll have a restaurant and a pub attached to them and stuff which is really cool but it's hard to do that up here right right it's hard to make your own brew or if you do the way it works is you make it you have there's one place that does it up here that i know of and they make their own brew but they have to sell it to the government and then buy it back from them in order to <laughs> sell it at their pub you know so. maybe one day they'll come around yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> well uh thank you so much for for talking i know that uh <clears throat> fans of, of frank and everything that he's done will be happy to see you again and and know that uh that you're happy and and all is well up in uh, canada yeah i'm good and i'm really happy for frank he seems to be having some good success in britain and uh you know, strike back last year, and now he's got his own show going. I think that's great. I hope we get. I hope we get to receive it up here. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it's really, really good. Oh yeah, I'm sure. Well, Frank's just such. He's just a talented guy. Well, and uh, a great guy. <clears throat> excuse me. Thanks so much again uh, for uh, for chatting with us. Okay. Talk <laughs> well, to you again. All right. Bye bye. Bye.